Many leaders around the state are calling the new law a slap in the face. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Liz Crawford talked to parents and advocates who say this legislation doesn't help young people, it hurts them. I would never want my child to win because we were depriving another girl and trans girls are girls of playing. Never. Tiffany and Megan are married with three young daughters. I think anyone who has a child understands that they want participation. They want to be part of a community and a team. And the idea that we would deprive that experience to anyone, especially at a young age, where the stakes are not high. We're not talking about professional athletics. We're talking about children learning how to be on teams, learning how to collaborate. Their family attended the flag raising ceremony at St. Petersburg City Hall, an annual kickoff to Pride Month. It should have been nothing but a celebration, but instead the ceremony started with a somber tone. Many people here accusing Governor DeSantis of purposely signing this bill on the first day of Pride Month. If you don't think that was intentional, you're kidding yourself. He's had the bill for a while. He chose to sign it today. It absolutely feels intentional, yeah. Nathan Broomer, a transgender man, is the director of St. Pete Pride. He worries the new law targets an already vulnerable population. I want to say first and foremost to our kiddos, we love you and we see you and we fight for you. The Human Rights Campaign announced their plans to file a lawsuit blocking the new ban, citing a rash of anti-transgender sports bills being passed across the country. We have more reaction on this bill at 10tampabay.com.